A $2 million Shreveport City project is causing a lot of commotion. NBC 6's Darren Todd joins me now live in studio explaining why some say changes coming to a busy intersection in South Island are not what they envision. Darren, good evening. Hey, good evening, Dan. While this intersection, intersection is actually in need of some improvement when it comes to traffic and the light system, one local architect says that this industrial look is not what the neighborhood needs, especially to keep its rich history and its surrounding landmarks. These particular industrial looking poles really aren't appropriate in this historic location. Christopher Cole is a member of the American Institute of Architects. He is concerned for Shreveport's history as the city begins a $2 million project. This project has been on the drawing board since 2012 and at no point did anybody ever go, oh, wait a minute, this could be a problem. Cole says that the light pole would take away the view of the historical Kings Highway Christian Church and Bird High School. The job was approved by previous city workers, and now the current chief engineer is left to pick up the pieces. Unfortunately, the folks that oversaw that engineer with the city are, are no longer with the city. So the, the, the current staff took the completed design package and, and put it out for construction. We, we're getting together cost estimates, and uh, we've, we've asked the contractor to stop work in this, uh, in this location at this intersection. He's agreed to move to other areas of his project. Um, but there's going to come a time really soon where, where he has to get back to this intersection to keep working. Furlong says postponing the project could result in delays costing more than $200,000. This is a perfect example of why community engagement is so important. The days of engaging the community are really more the norm. Furlong says that they don't require regulations from the city when it comes to public property. Well, I called the uh, MPC to, dis to discuss this about uh, the zoning codes and the historical codes. Um, and they told me they only regulate private property. Furlong will attend the Shreveport City Council meeting Tuesday to request additional funds to make sure that the traffic lights fit the neighborhood. If, if the funding is found and allocated uh, for these decorative poles, um, the, the best option would be to let the contractor complete all other portions of the project and either remobilize the same contractor under the same contract to do this intersection once the materials come in or just bid it out as a separate project. Now, Cole said that he hopes two things happen tomorrow during the city council meeting and one being to pause the project until the community and contractors come together and an ordinance for the city engineers crew to follow. Dan. Meanwhile, tax dollars are being spent. All right, Darren, thanks so much.